So your business data is in Google Docs, but you're using Microsoft 365 for things like email and Teams. So it makes sense that you want to migrate all your data from Google Docs into Microsoft 365. How hard can that be? Well, actually, it's pretty easy. And that's the topic for today's video. So the first thing you'll need to do is log into the Microsoft 365 admin portal. So you can see I've logged into portal.office.com here and you can see that I've got access to admin. So I'm going to launch that. Once I'm in the admin section, what we want to do is just click here and click on show all. Then all the admin centers will appear down here. So we want SharePoint. So if I go into there. Now, this is just a test tenant. OK, so there's not many SharePoint sites or not much data in here. If I click on active sites, you can see that Microsoft have created us some test sites. So there's an all company one, which is a team site. So that's the one I use for this demonstration. So if I go on to here, and if we click the site address, that'll take us into the SharePoint site. Now you can see I've got the standard document library here. That's got nothing in it. But I've also created another couple of document libraries. I've created a Dropbox migration one for an earlier video I did. And I've also created a Google migration document library. Okay, so once we're, we're familiar with that, let's go back to the SharePoint Admin Center and let's click here where it says migration. So we've got all these sources that we can use. So we can migrate data from a server in your office into SharePoint, from Box, from Stream, Google Workplace, which we're going to use, and Dropbox. Again, I covered that in a previous video. So let's click on Google Workspace. So what we need to do is click on connect to Google Workplace. Now we need to go to the Google Workspace Marketplace and just install a little app. So we click on install and authorize. That takes us to the Google Workspace Marketplace. Bit of a mouthful. So what I can do is click on admin install, click on continue. Now what I usually might do is ask you to sign into your Google Workspace. But because I'm already signed in, you can see here that it's not asking me to sign in. What it's saying is you are granting the Microsoft 365 migration tool the right to access all your data. So once you're happy with that, you scroll down, you click agree at the bottom, and you click on finish. And then we'll go back to the setup and click next. Click on sign into Google Workspace. Choose your username you want to use. And then we're all ready. So we'll click on finish. Okay, the next thing to do is click over here on drives. And then we want to start adding drives. So adding a drive is just adding the data in your Google workspace. So we click on add drives. We've got a few options. We can just get Microsoft to scan all the drives. Now, this is a decent option if you're migrating all of your data. In my case, this is just a demo. In my Google Drive, I've got a lot of videos. So I don't want to migrate all those videos just for the purposes of this video. So what I've done, I've created a folder called Migration Test, and it's just got a load of invoices in. So this is what we're going to migrate over. So what I will do back on here, I don't want it to do all new drives. I want it to do a single drive. So if you just want to migrate certain folders, you might use this option or the multiple specific drives. So the format that it needs to be in is the email address of your Google administrator forward slash, and then the name of the folder itself. So it's called migration test. So in that format and click on add. Okay. And if you look down here now, you can see that that has been queued. So that's going to start scanning in a moment. Now that has completed fairly quickly. It's because there's just one folder and 10 files. So it's found all those and we're in good shape. So the next thing to do is you just highlight this and we want to copy it to drive migrations. Now we've got some settings we can change. So if you want to exclude any files by extension, so you might be looking in a folder and you might say, well, I want to copy over all the files apart from the, the movies or apart from the PDFs. You'd exclude those files by extension and you can exclude folders by name as well. So you've got a bit more options there. I'm just going to leave it as this and cop click on copy to migrations. And then we're going to go to drive migrations. Okay, so if we look here, this is the path we've just added to drive migrations and we've got a big yellow sign here in the destination location. That means that Microsoft doesn't know where to put the data from Google in Microsoft 365. So we simply go into it, click on edit 
and we just point Microsoft in the right direction. So where you've got an option of putting it into OneDrive, SharePoint, or Teams. Now we're gonna use SharePoint, and once we click on here, it'll do a search for all of our SharePoint sites. Now, if you remember, we're just gonna put it in the All Company, and once we click on there, it will search for all our document libraries. And we've also got an option at this stage if we want to create a new library, so we don't have to do it in advance. But as I said at the start of the video, we're going to put all this data into the Google Migration Document Library. And again, we can create new folders there on the fly. Once we're happy with that, we'll just click on Save Path. And now it's ready to migrate. And it says it's going to take four minutes. So we just make sure it's ticked. And we just simply click Migrate and Migrate again. So I'm just going to leave that to run. You can see it's processing. And I'll come back in a few seconds time. Okay, I've left that just a few minutes. Obviously, the length of time it takes depends on how much data you're transferring. The migration status is now complete. So let's go over to our SharePoint site and go to Google Migration. And you can see that all those PDFs are now showing in my SharePoint. So you can see it's nice and easy to migrate data from Google Workspace into SharePoint and into Microsoft 365. So, I hope this video has been informative. As you can see, it's really easy to move your data from Google Docs into Microsoft 365. I look forward to seeing you again soon.